Hey everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am finally reviewing the Nizerol Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Everybody's been telling me to use this for years and I finally, finally, finally have tried it. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and let me go ahead and introduce you to this week's promo. Gift your mother something special this year with Anna Luisa's buy one, get one 40% off Mother's Day sale. Exceptional quality, fair prices, premium details, and perfect pieces for everyday or formal wear. Anna Luisa makes sustainability the main focus, and that's why I continue to support and love this company. They offer long-lasting pieces, crafted with care, no luxury markups, and only use the best noble metals. Anna Luisa offsets 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with the sourcing of raw materials, all the way to the disposal of their pieces. Plus, the use of limited batches ensures the highest standards while eliminating excessive waste. They believe in enjoying and celebrating the earth without leaving a trace while providing beautiful pieces of everyday jewelry that I feel fit my more minimal aesthetic. I decided to choose a couple of really simple gold pieces, the first being Rosalie. I love floral designs, and this set features gorgeous rose flower stud earrings in a high polished 14 karat gold finish, topped off with a soft touch of gold dipped petals. A delicate and simple way to add glam or romance to any look. Next I chose Charlotte, a gleaming 14 karat gold bar chain necklace, perfect for wearing alone or layering with other pieces in your collection, create a clean, elegant look to finish off your outfit. And lastly, I chose their letter bracelet. I specifically chose the letter S for my bracelet to represent my first name, Charmaine. Featuring shimmering cubic zirconia gemstones and crafted in recycled sterling silver, then finished off by being dipped in 14 karat gold. Choose your favorite letter and wear this initial bracelet every day while adding a chic sparkle to your outfit. With pieces from $39 to higher end pieces with no luxury markups, everyone can find something they love or for someone they love. Show your appreciation for mom, a loved one, and the earth this Mother's Day. Go to shop.animaluisa.com slash joyelle or click the link in my description box to find your perfect piece. Don't forget to use my discount code JOYEL10 for 10% off as well. And if you're the owner of business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at charmainejoyelle at gmail.com or you can go ahead and fill out the Google form at the link in the description box down below. But let's get started. So if you've been on my channel, you know that I have been battling an itchy dandruffy scalp for years. I mean, it's to the point where I think I either have subarachnoiditis, seborrheic, excuse me, seborrheic dermatitis. Might even be psoriasis because apparently one of my great grandmas had that. But I was up in the Northwest for about two weeks for spring break and my scalp was just on fire. It was itching. I brought my Sulfur 8 with me, but it just wasn't working for me and I was pretty much desperate. So we stopped off at a Safeway up in like Oregon. I spotted the Nizerol shampoo and I figured, let me just go ahead and try it. If it's, if it's supposed to work so, so well, I'm basically desperate right now. I'm like itching my head open. Let me get that let me just try it. Let me just say, I'm a little annoyed that I haven't tried it sooner, but I have a reason. This almost made me not buy it, even while I was up in Oregon. This little bottle right here is like $20, like $20, $21. And I know that every time I saw the price, that was really the reason that that would stop me from buying it. Cause just $21, I don't know, like just a part of my soul died a little bit trying to justify spending $20 on a shampoo. So that's why I've been trying to find all these other different things or different uh, products, uh, DIY things that I could do to help with my itchy scalp. But like I said, we were on vacation. I was desperate. Went ahead and bought it and washed my hair. So it states on the bottle, it's supposed to be clinically proven to control flaking, scaling, itching, and itching from dandruff. And it's supposed to control the fungus that causes dandruff. I have used a ketoconazole anti-dandruff shampoo before that was prescribed to me by a dermatologist, but one, I didn't like that dermatologist, so I just never went back. Two, I found the ketoconazole shampoo that they gave me to be very, very stripping, and I wasn't natural at that time. I had relaxed hair, and she was telling me to use this like every day. My hair was so dry, it was actually breaking off, so I was a little hesitant. So I was hesitant to go back and like continue refilling a prescription for it, and I've just been trying other things since then. But this, changed the whole course of the rest of my vacation. I used it one time, got my hair damp. I let this sit on my hair for probably four or five minutes while I was in the shower and then rinsed and, and continued with the rest of my hair routine, deep condition, leave-in, etc. 
from the moment I used it, the whole, the last like week of our vacation, I didn't have a single flake. My head didn't burn, it didn't itch. It made the rest of my vacation so comfortable. And like my hair was the last, my scalp was the last thing that I had to worry about. So I was, I was immediately sold after that. This stuff, I mean, even up until yesterday when I washed my hair with this, my, my scalp wasn't itchy, not even an inkling of any sort of scalp issue. Like I probably didn't even have to use it for this wash day, but I, I wanted to get it on film of me using it. So that's the only reason I did use it for this wash day. So I'm, I'm sold. If you have scalp issues and you're like, I don't like greasing my scalp, I don't wanna use sulfurate, I don't like the smell, um, nothing else is working for you. I think Nizerol is the holy grail <laughs> of like scalp shampoos, scalp treatments. This, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go back. I do, however, because it worked so well that I wasn't even having itching up until my next wash day. I don't think this is one you even have to use every single week, at least not for me. I think I could have gotten away with just using a regular shampoo this week. And because it's a smaller bottle and it's pretty expensive, I will keep it as like my backup shampoo for when I do notice that my scalp is becoming inflamed or itchy and just using it when I need to. It's I am so happy. I am annoyed with myself for not using it sooner. I know you guys have been like begging me to try it and use it. You guys have been leaving rave reviews about Nizerol in my comments. And thank you very much for recommending that. I'm, I'm super happy that I tried it. I just put a little bit in a nozzle bottle because I wanna make sure that I am really getting it down to my scalp. When I had the Northwest, I didn't have a nozzle or an applicator bottle to put it into. And I noticed it was really easy to use a lot of it when I don't have an applicator bottle. And again, because this is an expensive shampoo, in my opinion, it's expensive and it's a small bottle. Um, I don't think I, and it's and it works so well, I don't think you need to even use a whole lot of it. So the applicator bottle allowed me to apply a reasonable amount to my scalp without using half the bottle, which is what I accidentally ended up doing in the Northwest. So use it in an applicator bottle and make sure that you really get it down to your scalp for this wash day that I, sh that I filmed for you guys. And what I will do in the future is because this is meant to be a scalp shampoo and a scalp healing shampoo or scalp relieving shampoo, I wasn't worried about using it on the length of my hair whatsoever. I'm usually not concerned with using that on the length of my hair on wash days, just shampoos in general. So I will use this to at least get the scalp all suds up and washed. And then if you wanna use a moisturizing shampoo for the length of your hair, I would recommend doing that. That way you're not using so much of this shampoo and you can save it for the part of your head that, that matters most, which is your scalp. By putting it in an applicator bottle and only using, using it on my scalp, a small amount that I need for my scalp, I'm hoping that I can stretch the length of time that I that I have each bottle and also just not using it every single wash day when I'm not having a flare up. I think that's gonna make the life of, of each bottle that I use uh, last exponentially longer. If you're someone who needs to use it every week, uh, definitely use the applicator bottle. I, I think that's gonna help, again, extend the life of the bottle. But this stuff is amazing. This stuff is amazing. Head and shoulders, don't know her. Sulfurate, don't like grease, don't bother with it. I would use Nizerol. I didn't have to use any sulfurate after using the shampoo. I, my head is feels so happy. When I have, I don't know about you guys, but when my scalp is burning and itching, and honestly, like, I feel like it triggers, like, my anxiety. It triggers, like, a depressional episode just because your head hurts. Like, it hurts to lay down. It hurts to touch your head. You don't want to do anything with it. Even wash days when my scalp is sore are just miserable because my head hurts the whole time. I am so thankful. <laughs> For this, I know cataconazole is usually the number one ingredient in some of these dandruff fighting or like scalp issue fighting shampoos. So I was excited to see that on there. But I also like that this shampoo didn't strip my hair at all. My hair did not feel rubbery whatsoever after using this, which I like. I'm trying not to over strip my hair to any degree unless I'm specifically doing like a detox or cleanse on my hair. Um, especially now that I'm at a point where I'm trying to keep the length that I have. So I'm trying to be gentle with my hair and not be too rough with it or use products that are too harsh on it. I felt really comfortable using this shampoo if if it does get on the rest of my hair and not just apply it on my scalp. So I'm a huge fan 
I'm a huge fan of this. I am so happy. If my head was not as sore as it was on this trip, I don't think I would have caved and like finally just put forth the $20, $21 for their shampoo and used it, but I am so glad that I did. This stuff is life-changing personally. It was a lifesaver for me on my vacation. It made my vacation so much more enjoyable for me because I didn't have to worry about having a sore head the entire time. Like literally day after it was like nothing had, a, it's like I had never even had a flare up on my scalp. It was amazing. I had no flakes. I didn't have to worry about dandruff being seen throughout my hair. So I'm a huge fan of this. If you haven't tried it yet, please, please, please. Like I know it's $20, but I think you can extend the life of the bottle if you use it responsibly, if you use, if you use um, a bottle that won't allow so much product to come out of it as fast. I know a lot of you guys have recommended it and have used it and have great stories. Please leave your own reviews and stories and experiences with it down in the comments down below. I love reading your stories on how products work for you guys. But I hope that you guys, you guys enjoyed this review. I hope that if you haven't tried it that this, this video convinces you to go try it. Like, Honestly, it's life-changing. It, 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 it was life-changing for me. Uh, finally, a shampoo that actually works for very itchy, uh, dandruffy scalps. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check out the Anna Luisa Mother's Day sale. Keep looming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.